Greetings and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, where truly our hearts must be iron in the Mexican Socialist Republic to withstand all of the many betrayals that we have suffered at the hands of the bourgeois elite of the world and even the bourgeois elite of fellow communists. Clearly, there are those in this world who do not accept or understand the true meaning of Mexican communism, or indeed the glory and magnificence of the Mexican film industry and Gallardo and his various and assorted epic movies, for if they did, had they watched any of the noble and self-sacrificing stories which are so prominent in Mexican socialist revolutionary filmmaking, then there is no way that they could have found it in their hearts to betray such a noble and benevolent people. And yet, once again they have. We were betrayed by the Canada popular state, a country that we have poured our heart and souls into. We have flooded their state with our tequila and our Cuban cigars, and we thought that they had accepted the truth, the light, and the way, but alas, they have not. They have chosen to betray us, they have chosen to join the Allies, and in our rage, um, we may have started to justify war on Venezuela, another country, obviously, which betrayed us in the past, um, and I believe a member of the Allies. Yes, the Federal Republic of Venezuela is indeed a member of the Allies, and therefore, I mean, that is it. That, that is the powder keg right there. And if we are to light it, then it means war with all of the Allies. Across the entire world, it shall once again be plunged into a great and global conflict. Which rumours are that it kind of already is, with Comitern and the Allies being at each other's throat. Um, but it doesn't involve us, so we don't care. So we may have been a tad hasty, especially with many of our research projects still to complete. But then again, Dino Enka, I mean, you know, he is not a man, despite the fact that the, um, the Presidente of the Federal Republic of Venezuela is one of his clones. Uh, our, our glorious um, leader, Dino Enka here, is not the kind of man to back down once he has begun the justification for war. So we'll just have to see how that kind of pans out, I guess. I mean, we're nearly ready. We do have a few things we need to take care of. We have some free military factories that we need to set to work. In fact, we have quite a few. We've got six. Somehow we have acquired six military factories. Where have they come from? Who knows? Maybe we, we, maybe we repaired them or something. Um, anyway, we probably... Look, most of these things are filled. We're not actually producing any troops at all at the moment because we have only 8,000 available personnel who haven't already been drafted into the army. Um, which, of course, is not very many. And most of those are probably going to become aircrew right now. So we don't want to actually start recruiting anyone new. Um, but that's no reason not to continue our production lines um, as, as much and as rapidly and as uh, awesomely as possible. In fact, you know what? The one thing we really do need is Mexican Infantry Equipment 3. The finest Mexican Infantry Equipment uh, ever to be devised of by boffins um, and probably better than everyone else's in the world. So let's just start another production line for those, shall we? Infantry equipment. Um, we'll just kind of like any new factories that come on stream, we'll just put into that for the time being. In fact, we'll also um, ramp up jet fighter production for um, all of the jets and fighting and other things that we need to do. Excellent. Um, we also have insufficient resources now, of course. It would be nice to potentially be gathering these resources from um, our more dependable allies, unlike the Soviet Union and that nefarious Stalin who, I mean, you know, is just clearly just waiting to stab us in the back. And if we get the opportunity, instead, we shall be the ones who do the stabbing um, because, you know, he has totally asked for it without a shadow of a doubt. Um, however, if there's any members of the Green Dawn that we can look, there we go. The Brazilian Socialist Republic will have some from you. How much do we need? Uh, we probably need more than you are able to provide, but we can possibly get some from someone else as well. Anyone? Uruguay? Let's get some from Uruguay. I mean, they're not actually in the Green Dawn, and we may eventually have to take them over, but for the time being, I believe they are non-aligned. They're democratic, but they are non-aligned. They're not in the Allies. So uh, both Uruguay and Chile, both of whom, obviously, you know, we have designs upon, because we do ultimately need to own all of the Americas. It wouldn't be a successful campaign for the Green Dawn if we didn't ultimately own these two countries. But they can take a back seat. They are not immediately required. Um, instead, what we're going to do is we're going to attack 
the Federal Republic of Venezuela and the Allies um, and all of the like awesomeness that will come with that, um, which we had better plan for thoroughly to make sure that we have a glorious success. Anyway, look, we can unpause it because I think we've taken care of all of our immediate needs. We still have insufficient resources, apparently. We need yet more steel. Yet more Paraguay. Paraguay will clearly want to import some steel to us. There we go. Fantastic. Uh, yes, we know we have low manpower. Yes, we know we have available planes in reserves. And yes, we know that we can modify the government. Um, but we want to keep this political power. We want to keep at least enough so that when we declare war, we can grab all adult serfs. So we need at least 150 kept in the bank. I suppose we could grab, like, some of these. Uh... Naval Air Defense Strategic Bombing. You know what? We could use this to improve the effectiveness of our rocket attacks. So let's do that. Let's take him. Uh, that gives us 332. Let's sit on that for a while. We could also get like a ship designer, but I don't think it's terribly important right now. So we're not going to. Um, look at the Americans shifting all of their troops. Look at that sea of troops. It's utterly ridiculous. I mean, anyone would think that they had, now that Canada had joined them and they had like, you know, been assuaged of any fears of anything happening up here in the north that um you know they were gonna redistribute all of their troops down to the south in actual fact i'm not entirely sure what they're doing with them we are currently getting expert intel on it i i suspect because uh, martin bustamante is still up here in canada tapped into the canadian um allied united states communication lines providing us um all of the intel that he has available to him although as, as good as that is, um, Martin, uh, busting the mantis of their um, communications and things, I kind of would rather have you back home, safe and sound, without, you know, having you stuck out there. It, it's possible, maybe we should just like, we'll just like send them here. They can just sit in these mountains, hide in the mountains, and then uh, when the inevitable war comes, if they're able to, we can just have them kind of like charge down, possibly take... Um, uh, British Columbia here, possibly take uh, Vancouver. Is that Vancouver? That is Vancouver. Look, we could take Vancouver and then we could march on down the west coast to meet up with the expeditionary forces of Gallardo, Gallardo Magna, who of course is putting the finishing touches to his uh, awesome, cunning plan for the conquest of the American west coast, or at least like the um, the Californian part of it. Because clearly California is one of the lost Mexican territories that we will have back. It is in the manifesto. Meanwhile, excellent news. The boffins have just informed me that they have completed nuclear bomb research. We have finally devised the ultimate weapon in the Mexican Socialist Republic armory. A bomb which uses enriched uranium to great and devastating effect. Um, that's amazing. That's fantastic. Boffins, uh... Now that you have completed that research and we therefore are, you know, in, in the ultimate atomic mode, I guess you should probably move on and start researching something else. And I have been repeatedly shouted at for not taking any effort to research decryption or encryption, um, which, I mean, th the thing is, this is just this is just part of the character of the Mexican revolutionary way. So honest a people are we that it doesn't even enter into our minds the idea that we should somehow encrypt the information which we send out into the world. We want everyone to know it. However, we should probably work on some decryption so that we can learn the nefarious plans and uh, intentions of our enemy. And so we're going to set the boffins uh, fresh from their glorious nuclear weapon research to um, decryption research, which is perhaps somewhat less exciting. But because it involves our like computing devices, they can play a fair amount of Mexican Zorg at the same time, whilst really feeling like it's essentially work. Look at this. Look at this. Nuclear bombs. Nuclear reactors built. Six. Total production speed, 1.6% per day. Next nuclear bomb in 0. is 0. 0.0% done and will be ready in roughly 61 days. So we get a new nuclear bomb approximately every two months. Um, that's good. It could be better. Maybe we could get uh, some more nuclear nuclear reactors, which of course would also help to power our various secret projects that we have going on. Um, so let's do that. Let's get nuclear reactors in there, in there, and also in... If we could get like 12, would that mean we'd be producing one a month? That probably sounds about right. What have we got there? Four. We need two more. One in the Yucatan, uh, and uh, two in Durango. There we go. We'll, we'll go for seven. 
Seven is the right way, um, and indeed the best way. If I hold shift, straight to the top. Oh yeah, straight to the top with our um, nuclear researches. Although we should probably like have the infrastructure in there as well as kind of important to do because you know, we do we do sort of need infrastructure infrastructure projects for our troops to support uh, all of the uh, planning and um, execution of Gallardo's awesome plans um, which are coming along nicely by the way I think basically he's been reading up on California and he suspects that he can insinuate his way into San Francisco by placing flowers in his hair and indeed painting giant flowers on the side of his invasion ships which I suspect or he suspects will uh, lull the San Franciscans into a full sense of security as they will feel that obviously nobody who displayed such awesome flower power could possibly have Look at this. Look at this. Have they heard my plans? It looks like Canadians are turning up in San Francisco along with American tanks in preparation for the receiving of Gallardo and his uh, flower power mission to, fr to San Francisco. Um, he may have to rethink this a little bit. Possibly something to do with tech billionaires. Um, I don't know. It might be a little bit early for that. Maybe Zork billionaires. Oh, yes. He could get like the boffin who wrote Mexican Zork and he could take him with him and be obviously working on the assignment that he is going to do some kind of conference in San Francisco that clearly clearly that combined with the flower power mission um, will bamboozle the San Franciscans into um, just allowing them to stroll in unopposed probably um, hopefully anyway otherwise he's gonna have to fight his way in with his awesome uh, his awesome uh, legion of bravado and joy as well as his division de Cavalerias, um, who are now, of course, the uh, new and improved unicorn styled um, division de Cavalleria. I wonder what unicorn is in Mexican. Unicornio! Unicornio! Oh, you know what? They have to change their names. They have to change their names. Where are they? Division de Cavalleria, you need to change your name to Division de Unicornio. Unicornio! Unicornio! Oh yes, they are the new and improved Division de Unicornio. Um, that, that is amazing. That is utterly amazing. Where are you, Gallardo? Do you have... The, they have not actually changed their names, unfortunately, uh, because of course they are not new and uh, improved divisions of the Unicornio. But nonetheless, we know that that's what they're called, and should we recruit any more? Um, we will still know that that is what they're called. And they're completely, completely awesome. The capital ship effort has been completed. Uh, excellent. We should probably get the boffins on researching some more capital ships, battleships, possibly aircraft carriers, um, and other such things in which we can improve our canoe-based technology for the, um, you know, conquest, ultimate conquest of uh, the Americas and indeed the world. Because, I mean, we've got pretty good canoe fleets already. Where are our canoe fleets? The first canoe fleet is 25 strong the second canoe fleet is 94 strong let's actually re um reassign these look we're stockpiling convoys we want these to go to the first canoe fleet um and indeed also the submarines to go to the first canoe fleet and of course the heavy cruisers which are already going to the, the first canoe fleet you can go to the second canoe fleet to just sort of spread it around spread the heavy canoes around uh, the various and assorted canoe fleets for um you know, for maximum effect, maximum awesomeness, and and general, uh, general joy and uh, bravado ness, as is of course the Mexican way, especially the Gallardo. Way. Look, at this, look at this cocksure guy. Already, he's out there like painting these like massive flower patterns on the side of his ships and his tanks. You know, his artillery pieces. Even the shells are gonna have like daisies just on the front of it, so that as they're flying towards you, you just see this like daisy growing into like an enormous like mexican shell which will then land upon your san franciscan place and i mean possibly blow it up a little bit but only a little bit i mean we we want to take most of america we don't want it to be just like a, a smoldering ruin however dino Enka calls to aid the venezuelan worker is there a greater lie than the supposed liberty of the venezuelan people i mean after all my friends the Venezuelans were once under the benevolent rule of the Mexican Socialist Republic. The workers were free and had as much tequila 
banned Cuban cigars as they could possibly want. And yet we were betrayed, as the bourgeois elite there rose up once more, and with the help of their friends in the Allies, continued their nefarious activities with the, the abuse of the kitten, like a, a football that they kick in the street, you know, and, uh, and when it gets kicked too high and it goes over the fence, they do not even bother to fetch it. They just get another kitten from the box. It is these kind of people who control Venezuela. And my friends, even though it means war with the Allies, I fear it is a, it is a mission we must accept. Um, yes. Yes, Dino Henker. Uh, I couldn't agree with you more. It is a mission we must accept. We will crush their bourgeois dictatorship. They shall not be allowed to continue to rule Venezuela when clearly Venezuela is and forevermore will be a part of the Mexican Socialist Republic in their hearts and in our hearts. This is the way that it must be. And it is in fact the way that it will be. Um, however, we still need to prepare. We still need to prepare a lot. We have no national focus set. We're still low on manpower, but we are actually getting a little bit. Uh, meanwhile, the boffins have completed the mechanized equipment three. Excellent. Let's just pause it whilst we select a new research option for our boffins. Um, and, well, I mean, we could go for more decryption. We could really, like, ramp up our decryption efforts. But I also kind of would like to maybe get to some jet bombers. Um, I mean, because, come on, jet bombers have got to be awesome, haven't they? Because, of course, now that our nuclear weapons have been perfected, we need to ensure that our delivery systems are as advanced. And therefore, Strategic Bomber 3, and then on to Jet Strategic Bomber, I think has to be a research priority. As much as decryption is also a research priority. Um, but, you know, we, uh, we still don't trust these things. We still don't trust these, this, this idea of, like, hiding things. Um, look, we've got 10 Infanteria Bravados. Let's take 8 of them. All right, seven Infanteria Bravados, and we will assign them to the front line. And we'll take these three. And, of course, because we're going to be going to war with the Allies, let us not forget that there is some Allied territory. I think this is it. I think this is the only bit of Allied territory that we might have to worry about, the United Kingdom. But let's just put three troops down there um, to make sure that we are able to deal with it. This uh, Santa Domenico, who does this belong to? They are a members of the Comintern, another clone of Dynamica, of course, um, as is inevitably the way. Their Communism Party is not doing too well, it has to be said. I mean, we, should we boost their popularity a bit? Let, let's not bother for now. We can always conquer them. Um, and, uh, and indeed, we probably will have to. However, these troops who've been kind of like, like guarding Port-au-Prince diligently all this time, of course, primarily because uh, it is one of the primary shipping points for um, Cuban cigars, having offshored many of the Cuban cigar productions from um, Cuba itself to uh, to this place, wherever this place is. Haiti! Of course it is! It's Haiti! What? What? I mean, how could we have forgotten Haiti? That's unbelievable. Anyway, look, uh, we might as well bring these troops back as well to uh, assist with the possible conquest here. Dino Enker questions Venezuelan sovereignty. We know that the Venezuelan sovereignty is not a matter of issue. For their declaration of independence from the Mexican Socialist Republic was entirely invalid and contrary to all forms of law and decency. My friends, I interrupt this important speech to tell you that we, the Mexican Socialist Republic, have completed our first nuclear bomb. Yes, my friends, Truly, we are the greatest nation on this planet. Um, fantastic. I mean, we can rally behind this cause, and I wouldn't be at all surprised if the Venezuelans didn't just immediately, um, you know, rise up in rebellion against their bourgeois elite and turn themselves over willingly to the Mexican Socialist Republic. After all, they would not want to, obviously, you know, bring down their our wrath upon them. Um, how's our construction effort going? We've got... Durango nuclear plant. Oh, hold on. Have we done all of that infrastructure effort? We totally have. Do we need to do any more infrastructure effort? Look, let's let's actually continue to beef our infrastructure up all along here. And we we do not want to have supply problems. We don't currently have supply problems, but you know we don't want to have supply problems anyway because that would be bad. 
Good, excellent. Many, many things are to be completed. Also, we have more rocket platforms being prepared even as we speak. Uh, and eventually we'll get to these military factories, which would be very nice to have in place before, obviously, the ultimate um, and great battle of our time because, uh, you know, we may, we may lose the German industrial estate. We're just not going to defend it. That's the plan, is basically just not to defend the German industrial estate. Hopefully our allies here... Um, in the Green Dawn, in the in the European Green Dawn, and indeed potentially even Comatern, who I think have access. Cancel their military access. Yes, they do indeed have access. Look at this. Look at this. Dino Enker is becoming ever more belligerent um, as as the time grows ever closer for the great war with the Allies to commence. It's rushing up on us, perhaps a little bit faster than I would have liked. I mean, we've only got one nuclear weapon available to us um, with another one. What? that like a couple of months away a month and a half something like that anyway Dino Enka calls to aid the Venezuelan workers the Venezuelan workers my friend these are your brothers in arms these are people who have known the taste of the free tequila and Cuban cigars of the Mexican way my friends can any of us truly rest whilst they are denied such basic necessities of life by their bourgeois rulers. No, my friends, we cannot. And soon the time will come when our great and brave forces will once again commence the attack. Whatever the consequences for the Mexican Socialist Republic. And believe me, my friends, our forces are ready. They are lined up along our borders and prepare even now secret plans involving flower power and also something about the tech billionaire. We did not quite understand what that was. But at any rate, my friends, when the hammer falls, know this. The Mexican Socialist Republic will be victorious. Viva Mexico! Yes, we will crush their bourgeois. And also, look at this. The boffins have completed research of rocket engines too. Fantastic. We now have improved guided missiles and also, of course, our... Buck Rogers slash Flash Gordon rocket interceptors are also uh, potentially able to be improved at this point. Uh, what's next? We've got probably most of the infantry equipment that we want. We could get infant we could get improved infantry equipment three. It's probably worth getting in. Soft attack plus ten percent. Oh, we could get modern tanks. We, I can't believe we have not yet researched modern tanks. You know what? We're going to do it. The bobbins are going to get on the researching of the modern tank. It, it is the only way. It is the only possible choice. Not realizing that we had not yet researched modern tanks. Clearly, there can be only the one choice. Um, and uh, hopefully it will be researched in time for us to produce them. In time for us to be able to use them in the conquest of somebody. Possibly the Americas or maybe even enemies further afield. Um, call to arms, request from the Austrian Soviet Republic. The Austrian Soviet Republic wants our help in their war effort. Um, you still want us to help against China? Look, honestly, Austria, it's not a problem. China is, is, not a, is just not a problem for you. Where even are you? Austrian Soviet Republic, um, there you are. And look, where's China? Where, where is China? China is all the way down here. They're just they're never going to be an issue. Not until uh, we eventually decide to attack them. So let's just forget about China, shall we? Um, for uh, for now, and indeed possibly for always. Do you think we should station some people on uh, our our island of Taiwan? Because it does have one military factory, um, and that's it. Is that really all it's got? One military factory and an air base and uh, a naval base. I mean, it's not a lot of capacity, to be fair. We could maybe, like station a troop there or a couple of troops there um let's not bother though let's not bother it'll be fine i'm sure no one will attack taiwan i mean who would who would engage in such a terrible thing certainly there are no large powerful nations in the area that have always considered taiwan to be like part of their territory um uh, certainly none that would dare go up against the might and glory that is the mexican socialist republic let's unpause it what have we got here we've got oh these are our three troops who are arriving in to um you know ensure that should the worst happen um, and we somehow inexplicably find ourselves at war with the allies 
probably very, very soon, um, that we can then quickly conquer this part of the United Kingdom. Other parts of the United Kingdom that are of concern is this bit here, also the Netherlands and France, they've got a little toehold there, um, but primarily I think it's going to be up to our friends, the Brazilian Socialist Republic, to deal with them, um, because of course they actually border with them. If we manage to fight our way through Venezuela like quickly, we can probably join in and help, but we've got a fairly small expeditionary force here to actually engage in that particular attack. Um, when is this justification going to be complete, by the way? Progress, 143 of 175. Expected finish time, the 20th of June, 1946. It is currently the 20th of May, 1946. There is, there is but little time left. One month is all that separates us and the great war of our time. The great war which shall settle once and for all the Mexican Socialist Republic place in the world. Is it a war that we can win? Certainly the United States has a great deal of mass forces, but once again they seem to have left our border relative, well I say relatively, relatively undefended. 13 troops plus like all of those and then just question marks. Questions? Questions that need answers. But Dino Enka has been angered by Venezuelan posturing. Those naive citizens of the Mexican Socialist Republic who imagines the Venezuelan bourgeois elite are people of peace are entirely out of touch with the reality that we know because we were just there just a few short years ago. Clearly, when we took over the country, we should have dealt with their bourgeois more harshly, rather than putting them in the wicker basket and casting them out to sea, or whatever it is that we did with them in the end. I forget, these are details that are not important to a leader of my magnitude and magnificence. But regardless, people, we must be ready for war. And ready for war we are, and ready for war we will be, and ready for war we must be, because war make no mistake is coming um it would be nice if we could possibly complete a few more bits of research first we could modify our government yeah we don't we're still kind of holding off just in case we need that political power for something more important and more useful um we could start deploying some of our like aircraft into positions um we could possibly look we've got these rockets standing by should we should we target the target our rockets on the southwest of america the boffins Meanwhile, the Boffins have completed their first effort at decryption, which, have, which is, of course, based heavily on uh, Mexican Zork's original source code, because that was the only experience we had with such things. Um, let's take a quick look. Decryption. Decryption plus one. Well, fantastic. Uh, also, we've, researched, we've completed our research on fighter aces. Fantastic. All right. Uh, well, first of all, um, those Boffins who completed the decryption effort can continue onto the next level of decryption and also we will uh, possibly get something else technological we could get jet fighter 2 i mean we're way way ahead of schedule on this it would take us 836 days but i mean how cool would having jet fighter 2s be um it's probably not worth the researcher right now but uh what else might we want possibly air doctrine we could go for hunt and destroy air support mission efficiency plus 20 percent uh or land doctrine have we completed our land doctrine no we're still working on tactical control currently we could start researching more um naval stuff we've got plus 50 percent speed for submarines and plus 50 percent speed for destroyers both of which are kind of looking a little bit dated now it has to be said um you know what let's do it let's get the submarines up to scratch because we're probably going to be fighting quite a lot out in the sea as well when the inevitable war begins not only with of course the united states but potentially with the royal navy um and indeed the naval forces of the the other members of the allies i mean does france have much of a navy i, I don't imagine they do i mean i don't know why i don't imagine that they do considering they own like all of france a significant chunk of spain um like half of africa I mean, they're pretty, they're pretty substantial, the old, uh, the old French forces in this world. And indeed, uh, rather randomly, they also own Dia Azur and Aleppo and Damascus. Oh, oh my God, look, France owns Syria. In this alternate history, in this alternate reality, France has invaded and conquered Syria. Wow, I mean, who would have thought it? Who would have thought such a thing? Iraq, of course, is independent here. Under the control of Ghazi the First. 
um, who just looks like uh, you know a fine fellow who probably shouldn't be messed with. However, that of course is all happening out there in the rest of the world, which we still only kind of tangentially care about. As much as we made an effort to really care about the rest of the world after you know the the great. Uh, betrayal of the Treaty of Truck um, and indeed the establishment of the German industrial estate. Even now, the, the people of the German industrial estate probably realize that they are essentially just kind of, you know, token Mexicans right now um, because, you know, we have no military presence there at all. Yes, the tequila supplies are kept up, but what they don't realize is that it's actually brewed or created, however it is you make tequila, locally in uh, the German industrial estate. In fact, our German in industrial estate production facility of uh, tequila is right here in Rostock. Um, because that way they think that it's coming in from the port, but actually no, it's just being created like in one of these little houses down. Look, this thing here, you see this? That is where the, um, the European tequila is fermented and produced and shipped out across uh, the uh, the industrial estates and they don't know any different so they're probably okay with it i mean i imagine cuban cigars are also made there um, from some kind of inferior substance or another. Of course, none of that is going to matter because we do expect the German industrial estate to be uh, lost relatively quickly once the war begins with the Allies. The inevitable war with the Allies because we shall be concentrating all of our attention, all of our might, power and indeed awesomeness. Not to mention bravado and of course joy here on the Americas when that battle happens. North in the United States, South in the Republic of Venezuela and indeed in the seas and air that surrounds but that will all of course have to wait until next time until then thanks a lot for watching everyone i have been weird wizard and i will see you later